Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm going to take a little drive today and talk to you about a few things that are on my mind. Uh, I was looking over some Facebook stuff this morning, this afternoon while I stopped for my break. And I just, I don't understand uh, some things that I'm seeing on there. Of, and it's, it's not really just Facebook, it's just, it's just in general. Uh, it's everywhere. All the negative, all the negativity uh, in trucking. I don't, I, I, I don't get it. Um, all this negativity about who drives for who, how fast they drive, why, why are they with that company? Just bashing companies, bashing uh, trucks of what, what kind of truck you drive. Now I've been out here 12 years, so uh, I, I've seen a few things and, and I'll tell you to be honest, just within the past, oh, three years, everything's gone to shit really fast as far as attitude. Everybody's got a bad attitude out here. Uh, nothing but a lot of bullying. I don't like to say bullying a lot, but that's really what it is. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, we're supposed to be, be brothers and sisters out here, uh, knights of the road. We're supposed to be helping each other, helping the general public, and we can't get along. We can't get along with each other. Uh, everybody wants to to join together. There's there's certain groups that join together that, oh, we're they say we're gonna make a change. We're gonna bring truck drivers together. Well, the truck, I, don't, I've, I think I've come to the conclusion that truck drivers just don't wanna be together. Um, the, the way everything's going, just nobody gives a shit anymore for some reason. And it's really sad uh, when it's over something so stupid as, as uh, you drive for this company or that company. Um, I got into a little bit of argument this morning and I uh, ended up uh, coming to the conclusion that I was just wasting my time. I was, uh, I, I was just wasting my time talking to this guy. Uh, it, it was going to be his way and that's the only way. And I wasn't really trying to win the argument. I was just uh, just throwing down some facts, some numbers, and, and some facts. And uh, it just it didn't it didn't matter. It, his, it was going to be his way, or, or that's it. There 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 is no other way. This uh, to him, uh, trucking is a one size. You got to do this one thing, or else you're not a real truck driver, or you have to work for for uh, company B. Uh, and drive uh, truck brand uh, X, you know, uh, to be a, a real truck driver. That's it. You know, it's it's it just it didn't make any sense to me on on how stubborn and really just arrogant and, and ignorant he was. And, and there's other people too. I, I get it all the time. Hell, I'm I'm working for company X. Uh, it won't take you too long to figure out exactly who I work for, and that's fine. I don't care. Um, but for the sake of, of this video and and, uh, and this little uh, little deal here, I, I work for Company X. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. I make a good living. I've got a wife and two kids at home, a house, on a little bit of land. Got dogs, cats, chickens, the whole deal. Two cars, both of them are paid off. I've uh, managed to to make myself debt free. Working here at Company X, it was a struggle. Uh, but if you're in any kind of debt at all, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, uh, no matter what company you work for. So, uh, the, you know, the bottom line is it on it is I'm happy here. I'm comfortable here. I have a, a cushy little gig going on. Uh, I've done my time out here. I've paid my damn dues. Like I said, I've been out here running these trucks for 12 years. It's not a lot. Uh, to some, I might still <clears throat> be considered a rookie, but uh, I'll tell you what, 12 years, that, that's long enough. That's long enough to, to know a few things. I don't know everything, and I'll, I'll never say I know everything, but uh, I know enough, and uh, I'm comfortable. I'm, I'm happy. I've been with a few different companies. Uh, I've, tried, I've done over the road. 
uh, a couple companies. I did a local gig for uh, a couple months, and it turned out that it just it just wasn't for me. Uh, my hats off to to those that do do it. Uh, maybe over the road is your thing. Maybe you're a single dude or gal that uh, got really don't have any ties, and you like running over the road and and, uh, and ripping up and down the road. That's that's fine. That's great. Or maybe you're uh, you got a lot of kids, got a lot of stuff going on at home, uh, maybe problems with the wife or, or whatever. Uh, there's so many variables of, of of why you make your own personal decisions, and that's exactly what I did. I made a personal decision that I don't want to run over the road, and I don't want to. I don't really. I didn't really like the local thing. It just I got burnt out too quick, and. Uh, it just wasn't for me, the bottom line. I don't really have to, to explain it that much. Uh, it just wasn't for me. I, I didn't dig it. Um, it wasn't for me. So now I'm uh, with Company X here. And I've got me a nice little cushy gig. Uh, running uh, Texas Regional and a few other states. And I'm home most weekends. And occasionally I'll get a night home uh, through the house. Uh, stop by and have dinner and, and uh, grab a shower and whatnot. Uh, it happens. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy here. And there's others that are doing it too that, that get the same, not necessarily with Company X, but they're doing uh, something that they're happy with. What the hell business is it of, of these people to try to knock us down? Why, what does it do for them? Why does it matter? Why should that bother you? And another thing was was the speed of the trucks. The uh, Company X is is known to be uh, uh, one of the slower fleets. Well, yeah, there's some slow trucks. The company trucks are set pretty slow. The uh, the lease trucks are a little bit higher. And then you have your owner ops and your independents that are leased on. Uh, some of them guys are wide open, but it's still got Company X on the door or on the on the side of the truck somewhere. So to to categorize Company X as the crappiest company in the world uh, because they run slow trucks is just ignorant. It's just ignorant. And when you open your mouth and talk about it, it is there. You're, it's just ignorant. There's no other word for it. There's no other word for about it, for it. Uneducated and ignorant. Well, that's what that means. But uh, what? Back to the point of. of why does that bother you? Why does it bother you so much to try to knock other people down just because you work for Company X or, or Company Y, uh, Company Z? It doesn't matter what company. We're not naming names in this one here. It's just, this is just straight. Why does it matter to you? Why does it matter if, if me or, or my brother or sister uh, are out here on the highway and we're running 58 or, or even 55 mile an hour. Now, no, I hear you. Hold on just a second now. If you're running 54, 55, 58 mile an hour and your truck will run 62 and, and you're on a small little two lane road and uh, you got a backup of, of big trucks and four wheelers behind you, yeah, you're, you're kind of being an asshole and you need to kick it up a notch and, and go on and get because now now you are affecting the people behind you. So, with that being said, y'all can can uh, you you guys can uh, take your 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 leather Peterbilt panties out of a knot there, uh, because I hear you on that one. You see that big shiny Peterbilt or K Dub in your rear view mirror, uh, and you're on a two lane road. You better be you better be mashing on it. Or you better have a CB radio and and, uh, and and be trying to work with them fellers back behind you to uh, to try to let them get around you. Now, so so I get that. I get that. That's where it, it can become a problem. I'll admit that 100%. Uh, when I'm on a two-lane road and there ain't no passing lane, I'm on it. I'm going as fast as I can and I'm communicating. Hey guys, I got to the floor up here. As, as soon as we get a little straight shot here, I'll go ahead and. Uh, I'll let you know and, and I'll back it down so y'all can get, go on about your business. And boy, that, that just made their day. They weren't expecting that from a fella running a, running a Company X truck, right? So that kind of, it, it makes their day, it makes me feel good that, that I'm doing the right thing. But anyway, uh, back to it, 
uh, on a two lane road, yeah, go on and get on it. But if you're on a four lane, five lane, a six lane road where you got a passing lane and you can easily get around Company X, what the hell does it matter to you? Why does it bother you that Company X driver is, is running 54 or, or 58 or 62, 65? What does it matter? Does, the, does it affect your paycheck? No, absolutely not. It does not. There might be, you might have to wait uh, three seconds, three or, or eight seconds to find a hole to get over into and, and get around Company X and then get on it and, and go on about your way. There's no reason to swerve and try to trailer, uh, try to whip them with your trailer and run them off the road into the ditch. That, that's uh, uh, back to that, that ignorant word. That makes no sense of, of why does it bother you so much? And, and that's kind of a problem uh, with just with people in general. Uh, people don't mind their own damn business. You need to mind your own damn business and worry about you. Hell, here I am, Company X. Like I said, I'm debt free. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. Just because that that somebody else is in debt up to their eyeballs, uh, they've got five or two car payments that they're paying on, a house payment on, the school loans they're paying on. They got they're, they're paying, they're paying, they're paying, and they're miserable. They're absolutely freaking miserable. Don't take it out on me. That's your problem, buddy. You did that to yourself, not me. I didn't do it. I handled my shit. I handled my business. So, y'all need to start, uh, you guys, you know who you are too. You know exactly who you are. Uh, it's just, there's no reason for it. There's absolutely no reason for it to come in these, these groups and, and just make a stupid comment. Oh, you guys don't make any money. You guys, trucks run slow. Oh, you guys are stupid. Well, I guarantee you that that they're happy or they're just learning and they're okay with it. If you don't like it, go around or just shut your mouth. Why does it bother you so much what other people are doing? I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, I'm sorry for a little bit of rant here, guys, but but it's, uh, you know, we're going down the road and this is stuff that I, that I think about, stuff that happens. Uh, Y'all see it every day. Hell, you might be that guy. You might be the guy on either end of the story. I don't know. But, uh, you know, that's something I feel like talking about. Um, it, it's getting bad. It, it's just people in general. They're, they're so worried about what other people are doing. And their life is a mess. Just because they're miserable, they're going to try to make somebody else miserable too. I guess it goes that, back to that saying that, that misery loves company, right? So I, I guess that might be it. I, I don't know. But... Uh, this shit's got to stop. It's got to stop. We're all brothers and sisters out here. I say that in damn near all of my videos on, on all platforms to help each other out here. Try to try to make a change. Uh, we're, we're out here uh, providing a service for our country. And uh, hell, we're providing life. And don't get me uh, uh, confused with, with trying to compare truck drivers to our, our proud military uh, people. Don't even think about going there because my hat's off to them. They, they're the ones that are doing the real uh, service for America. Uh, they're, they're providing our freedom. So I don't even really want to get into this. They're, that's a whole separate animal there. My hat's off to you guys, those that, that's, that actively serve or did serve. Uh, the veterans out there, uh, my hat's off to you guys. Uh, it really is, uh, but but as truck drivers, uh, we're the ones that are that are providing, well, life for for the people. Uh, the military provides freedom for the people, and the trucks, uh, truck drivers, and and farmers too uh, provide life. We bring the stuff that uh, if you think of all these big cities that are, where there's people stacked on top of each other, living in apartments and and. Uh, don't have any land to spread out the, the ground's no good anyway you can't grow a garden you can't have animals you can't have pigs or chickens because uh, the homeowners association won't allow it or your neighbors won't like it or, or you just don't have room you, know, you got a balcony that you can go out and have a smoke and a beer on and watch your neighbors uh, beat their kids and, and their and their wife and kick the dog uh, for entertainment I guess 
you know, that's that's really not a way of life. But uh, you know, think of how, where does their food come from? Where does their building materials come from? Uh, we bring it. We bring it. So uh, you know, we're out here doing a service for our country. We're doing a damn good service for our country. So I don't I don't see why we should be arguing. Uh, over stupid stuff like something something so stupid it, it's freaking stupid it's it's very childish it's like playground stuff uh, we're grown adults out here providing a service for our country and we need to act like adults we need to act like professionals uh, sure we're going to disagree I don't disagree I don't I don't agree with with what everyone says or how everyone operates their truck but you know what it's none of my damn business I've got the keys to one truck and one truck only, and I'm going to operate how I'm going to operate. You operate your truck how you're going to operate. Now, as long as we don't run into each other, we'll be okay. We should be able to get along. We should help each other out. Be talking to each other on the damn radio. A little bit of communication goes a long way out here. Uh, you know, it's this whole bashing and, and bullying, uh, it just it doesn't make any sense to me of... of what what how how does that make you feel better? What what does that do to make you feel better? I, I don't get it. And if, if you don't have anything nice to say, uh, don't say it. That's plain and simple. So, guys, uh, everybody needs to just kind of mind their own damn business. Uh, uh, don't worry about what's going on, on on Facebook and all that stuff. Why don't you try reading a book or, or trying to do an audio book? On, on how to how to improve your situation. Maybe if you're in debt, why don't you get some books? There's tons of them out there on, on fixing your financial situation. Uh, hell, if you want, I can recommend quite a few of them for you that worked for me. How do you think I did it? I, I sat down and I took the time. I turned off my damn phone and I read a book. Or I was using my phone or the computer to do something productive. Learn something. Educate yourself. So you're not ignorant. And maybe you can help somebody make a change. Maybe you can, the, that driver that, that you see struggling, and you know you see them every day, the ones that, that are struggling to buy a hot dog at the truck stop. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe do something to help them out. Give them a shine, a little bit of light on them instead of beating them down even further just because they drive for, for company, uh, company P. You know, it's, it's not, that's, that's not the problem. Maybe they just don't know. They need some help. Maybe they're new out here. They need some help. It's up to, to us, the, the, the guys that, that, that actually give a shit and take pride in what they do and, and understand the full extent of what we do to help bring up the, the weaker ones or, or the new ones. Help bring them up and make them strong. Teach them a few tricks on, on how to be successful. That's why I'm uh, starting to make these videos. Like I said in my introduction video, uh, I don't train anymore. I trained for two damn years. I, I, that's it. I'm done. I, I just, I, I, I physically, well, I physically can do it, but uh, the, the lost sleep and, and I'm just done. I, I've made a, a personal decision to not train anymore. And so now I'll just make videos, and if, if I can help out just a few other drivers to, uh, to be more successful out here and have a better attitude and to feel good and to, to help others out, to, to do a little bit of charity out here and help each other out, then, then I did my job. I, I can go to sleep uh, knowing that I did something that, to help make a change. Uh, versus just always be a negative. Hell, I could go on here and, and make videos and I could talk shit about everything all day. I really could. I got a lot of it. As some of y'all that know me pretty good, you know that I could. You know I could. Just make videos every day. <coughs> Drop one, one every day. And it'd be nothing but negative. Nothing but negative. But no, that's not what I'm trying to do not what I'm trying to do at all. Uh, some, some might call it a negative, but I usually bring facts to the table and, and people get butthurt over facts or, or they're just too lazy to look for the information for their, themselves. So, I mean, that's, that's a whole nother, whole nother video session here of, of uh, figuring shit out on your own. That the information's right there in front of you. 
You just can't be, you don't, don't be lazy and, and actually look for it. Try to figure it out on your own. So, anyway, that's about all I got on this one here, guys. That was just something that, that really kind of grinded my gears this morning and, and this afternoon. Uh, it started this morning and it, it continued on into the afternoon when I stopped for my break. It was still going and, and just back and forth and back and forth. So, it's, uh, you know, I figured... You know, I'm going to talk a little bit about it, and if I, if I get through to a couple people on changing your attitude and your outlook on, on other people that drive for different companies, uh, then great. You know, this, this job, this, this industry is not a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. Uh, some may like it local, some like it over the road, some like it regional, some don't like it at all. Some are just, they got to, you're not going to know until you, to, until you do it. You know, it's like me uh, doing the local thing. I always wanted to try it. I thought it'd be cool to be home every night. And uh, yeah, it was cool for a few weeks. And then it just uh, it started to kind of wear me down a little bit. And it, it ended up not being for me. Maybe I was with the wrong company. I don't know. Maybe that's possible. But uh, that's the point. You don't know until you try it. So, and that's what uh, what some of the videos are out there. There's lots of videos. Hell, I'm making a lot to, to help inform drivers of other options or, or just to be more successful. So, all right, guys, that's that's really it. So, uh, sorry for kind of ranting on you a little bit. Uh, it's not really uh, what I enjoy doing. I, I really don't, but it is informational. And uh, it's definitely a, a hot topic out here of, of what goes on in the real trucking world. Unfortunately, we're, we just we can't get along. Hell, we'd, we'd argue uh, on the price of a free cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right we would. Well, why is this coffee free? Well, who's paying for it? Why is it free? Uh, 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 are the taxpayers paying for this coffee? What do I what do I owe for this coffee? When it's just a free cup of coffee, guys, uh, that's all it is. There's, there's nothing more to, to, to think about on it. It's just a free damn cup of coffee. Take it and enjoy it. Don't ask questions about it. But no, we're going to sit and argue about it for a half hour and probably end up in the parking lot fighting about it. So, you guys need to calm down out here. Help your brothers and sisters out. <laughs> like I always say, be the professional, set the example, set the example for some of these guys that don't know. Do the right thing, uh, even when you, even when nobody's looking. It's called integrity. Have some integrity, guys, and, uh, and, and, and be safe out here. Help each other out. That's all I got. Uh, if you guys are just now watching, <coughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, go to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, give it a like, share it, leave me a comment on what you think about this. Probably a pretty controversial subject, and I'm sure I probably ruffled a, a few feathers. <coughs> so, go ahead and let me know. Get this out there. Share it. Do whatever. And, uh, alright guys, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>